podcast like this. Who gonna bring it? Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none of you know, Madea. Walk on. Man, there it is again. Every time, boy, I'll be happy when I hear it. What'd you just say? I said, well, go on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we got special, special guests here today, y'all. They don't need no introduction. One of the guys have been awarded from this show. There's a lot of people that's been asking for awards lately. This one of the awardees. He's here today. <laughs> that award is probably somewhere sitting down in a pile. Hey, look, don't, nah, y'all want to know what's crazy? Let me finish my... Man, okay, go, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Both of y'all dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in order right here, man. My boy had painters in the building. And you know the lovely Sydney man. What's going on, Sydney Monet? Sydney Monet? Yes, I like that. Okay, well, thank that's you. Cool. That's what's up, can we, man. Can we talk now? We can talk now. <laughs> you know, you're acting different now. You know, I'm just you know, so, I'm just so comfortable. Different. I'm so comfortable over here now. And this this feel like home now. I almost came up here and put my feet on your. Ah! But, you know, we don't want to do that, man. I don't yeah, do yeah, that. yeah, yeah, Not yeah. Yet. Man, but you, man, you no, know. Hold on, hold on. He was about to say something about his award. I want to okay. know what that award well, then is. Talk, talk, then. It's that actually is. in the car right now. Literally. Oh. You so you just left in the car the whole time? No, 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 no. We just moved, so it's in the car right now. I got to go hang it back on my wall. Oh, it, was okay. the, it was in my little game room, and I got to put it back in my game room. Real okay, talk, okay, man. Real okay. Talk, real talk. I'm just checking. Yeah, I still got it. Man, so, um, man, you know, you guys, man, you know, you look good. I mean, I don't know if y'all want to tell everybody what's going on. You know, it's something about <laughs> You know, Beyonce and them didn't come like, out. Yeah. Beyonce and Jay didn't really come out at first with their. They yeah. were kind of different the way they did it. They they way they do little old subliminals. Uh huh. <laughs> Drunken nah. in love. You know what I'm saying? Nah, hell no. Nah. Ain't nothing subliminal. I mean, so, here. I mean, you know, you we guys. are together, yeah. Oh, y'all, y'all, it's official. It's official. We are together. Yeah, that's, that's no Man, subliminal here. So, this is his official fiance. Soon to be. Oh, okay. Oh, I, 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 was I was just, I was like, I, push, that boy, <laughs> push that boy right I on have the have a promise ring if that counts for something. Already. Oh. That's beautiful, man. Oh, so how long you guys country. been uh, together? Almost nine years. So what? what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, from a woman's point of view, the first thing we're going to ask, so what's taking you so long? It's okay, been nine so years. If we want to get into that, then. Yes. First of all, we've been together nine years. Uh -huh. We're 28 years old. We was kids when we got together. So uh -huh. I feel like if we if I would have married her five years ago, we would have been divorced because I was young, fucking right. up. So we weren't ready. I'm glad we didn't get married early. That's good. That's, well, that's a good answer. Yeah. How did you feel about it? At first, of course, like any other woman would feel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, why am I just sitting here wasting my time? Right. But... Now we're at like a point of understanding. Our businesses are working. Like the way we have everything arranged kind of works for us. So I'm but how long did it take you to get to that point? Because you know, us women are very impatient. Mm -hmm. We gonna argue with you. Like, what are you doing? You don't love me. This, 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 put them all through all this drama. And I'm sure you probably did that too. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Up until about a year ago, that's when I stopped. And I'm like, okay, we're just gonna. So what stopped it? What, like what, what did you? Cause you're not going nowhere. Oh, okay. Hey, right here. Yeah, okay. Ain't going nowhere. Stuck, <laughs> Got it. And the reason why I ask a lot of questions because I know a lot of people go through those same things and people are going through that stage where they're arguing and even breaking up because mm -hmm. of it. So uh, if they can watch this and realize that it's not that big of a deal, yeah. let's just go ahead and make it work. Really, marriage right. is just... No offense to people who are married, but it's, it's paperwork. That's what a lot of people say. <laughs> it's a lot of paperwork. You come in law anyway. Yeah. Exactly. So ain't nothing you can do but just come up off half that stuff over there you got and move on. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, we're, we're so tied in together. Like, since we were 19 years old, we've been... We already operate like a married couple exactly. anyway. Exactly. It's like, like nothing really is going to change other than us doing it under... Got you know. Well, I ain't gonna lie. When I ask the question, I'm not trying to do it to help nobody. I'm being nosy. We different. Yeah, you know what I'm, <laughs> I'm nosy too, but I do it like, just to help. I'm people. trying to see what's going on. You know, if if he really, you know, with her and all that. I'm nosy. Just bam. They say he mess out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you talking about if he really with her? But if he right here and if he wasn't really with her, she would not be in this camera. Not only that, but yeah. he wouldn't be. But he wouldn't be at. That on yeah, camera right now. yeah, but he might be trying to go viral. This is a different time. <laughs> <laughs> this is very true. The nigga might yeah. be trying to go viral. Right. <laughs> nah, man. 
<laughs> you know, I, well, you know, I changed relationship. Now I'm not with, oh, I'm back with her. See, they do all kind of stuff. Now, the Internet is a source where people are going and they are just being whoever they want to be. Like when people were asking people to join the military, it's the same thing. You can be whatever you want to be on the Internet. Absolutely. So this is a weird place that we are in now. Mm -hmm. So let's go back, man. Let's talk about uh you coming up. You from Dallas originally or Fort Worth? Where no, you from? I'm from Dallas. How you run into him? Because he's from Fort Worth. <laughs> Let's just go and get it real now. <laughs> um, one of my best friends is close friends with his best friend. That's a lie. So, no running. Uh, <laughs> That's who, what? Let me, let me, okay, let me explain it to you because she going to give you the. I was going to beat her. Yeah, she's going to gonna beat her. That's like, like, always two sides yeah, of the yeah, story. Yeah. Three it sides. Is, it's a female perspective and it's your perspective. Yeah. Way back in the day, her best friend was fucking with Lil Runny. Okay. Don't put her, her business out there like that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say her name. yeah, yeah. She brought her around. Okay. And I got her. Well, yeah. I, I, it took me like two years. It took me like two years. years. But, okay. Look how he looks. Rewinding at you. time when I met him. He had a girlfriend at the time. That and makes he, sense. He kept on, he kept pressing. I'm like, no, I'm not interested. Why you had your girlfriend? <laughs> I was young. <laughs> she probably don't even know he was cheating on her. She know now if she gonna, you know. <laughs> oh, man, you know, I already, you know, I know I already have fine how you done it, bro. You ain't got to explain yourself. Yeah, you know how I go. You know, being a man you know in America, saying? I know what you, <laughs> I know what you went yeah, through. We got to stick that together was, on this was, interview. That, that actually was menace to society. <laughs> 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 Being a black man in America, the hunt is on. That's why I got that problem, just in case you want to use it one day. <laughs> okay, babe, go ahead. <laughs> I'm act right, I promise. You never act right. So you can't promise something you can't deliver. But the show doing good, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Great. Go ahead. No, so um so growing up, what you wanted to be when you were growing up? I've always been into art. So growing up, I wanted to be a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. My mom taught me how to um, sew when I was like 11. Mm -hmm. I've always been artsy. I'm an art nerd. I like to draw, um, paint. And then around the time I was, what, 20? When did I start tattooing? I was doing tattoos. Yeah, right and then right after I stopped doing that, that's when I started baking. And then I don't did know. Did you do any of his tattoos? No, I have. I nope. didn't. I didn't. Why are you saying that she's not that good? Like, no, no. Good. I did. I did his That's mama tattoo right here. Oh, okay. She charged too much. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, after I stopped tattooing, I opened. Well, I didn't open the bakery. We opened the bakery a couple years ago. But I started baking cakes. Um, the Seed Factory. I'm sure mm. a lot of people. Already, I heard about it. Yes. I tried to get you over it in. He didn't want to. That was that Beyonce well. J thing uh, going yeah. in. You heard that the Danny wasn't going to He wasn't trying to. No. I said, man, she got a business. No, nah, man, we don't do that. Oh, the truth hey, coming she, out. Hey, this, ah. is, this is her first interview. It's well, the, the second interview, but she, she don't do interviews. This, the shit. Hardest this is my third interview. interview oh, but but this like, is, like, I don't right know right where else you've been, but you're here now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is it. It's dramatic. It's <laughs> you know, I could have gotten an actor. You know? <laughs> we don't keep that in mind. I'm not, I'm not coming out yet. No, I've been offered. <laughs> And I'm nervous about it because it's a lot. It's a whole lot to get in the character, mm -hmm. right? So go on and back into her. What did you say? Where she went to school? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, okay. Where, where, how she grew up? I didn't say that. Well, that's what you're supposed to say. That's what we say on every show. <laughs> I change it up. Okay. But did, let me ask you, then. How, where did you where did you go to school at? It was in Dallas, Can? Yes, I went Dallas, to Dallas, Can. No. <laughs> now, she knows she was not a trouble. <laughs> like, do, I, do I give him a troublemaker? <laughs> he does, doesn't he? He does. He does. <laughs> no, I actually went to Kathleen Joy Gillum. It's in early college. Okay. It's on Camp Wisdom, right by UNT Dallas. Um, so when I graduated high school, I also got my associate's degree. That's hot. Because I went to Cedar Valley College while I was in high school. Okay, okay cool. And um, That's hard. I went to UNT Dallas for two semesters. Then after that, I'm like, eh, college. Don't want to do it. Mm -mm. Wasted that money. Mm -mm, Cause I had a full scholarship. Full scholarship. Yeah, everything was Wasted paid for. that scholarship. Yeah, and scholarship. then I graduated number six in my class, so I could have really. Hold <laughs> you should have finished it and just say, you know, uh, at least I have it. I'm in school now. That counts See? for something. Oh, really? <laughs> but is it a different major now than what you were yes, then? Yes, I'm in film school right now. Oh, so Because y'all building an empire together. Exactly. Exactly. That's so good. I'm like, you know what? It's time. So, oh, that's that's good. hard, And man. it's good. How is it like working together with your significant other? That's for the most, 
It's great. For the most part, I'm really no, seriously. Honestly. <laughs> seriously, I really can say it's great. It is mo- points in times because we operate on opposite ends of the spectrum. Right. Like, I'm a super hard worker. He want to take the easy way out of everything. So, a lot of times, I have to pull him to the side be like, mm, let's not do it this way. Let's do it this way. He'll, mm-hmm. like, sometimes he'll act like I'm getting on his nerves. <laughs> right. He ain't acting. We get, it, we get it done. He is not acting. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom. <you know? laughs> he not acting. <laughs> no, I, I feel him, you know. He's not acting. Uh-uh. Some but stuff just has to be done the right way. <laughs> he's going to comply, though. He will comply because of sacrifice. But he's Sometimes. definitely not acting. <laughs> Sometimes. But then how do you, like, because doing work at work and then coming home and trying to spend time at home, mm-hmm. have you all differentiated that yet? Or are you taking all the work home and just doing all the work at home, too? Our work, our, <laughs> this is all we do. All we do is film stuff. We don't have no jobs. or No, no but I'm talking about together leaving time here, leaving oh, balls talk going to the house dealing with each other at the house leaving I'm trying talking to figure about out how to get away from this stuff n- yeah. how do you do it spend time together that's what I'm saying we spend damn near yeah. every waking moment together literally yeah. Yeah. for the past n- almost nine years we've basically seen each other almost every day yeah. if no, you, no, no, uh, no I'm not talking about that I'm talking about differentiating the business from personal life together because you need that personal space together and saying okay yeah. let me leave this film let me leave this bakery to the side whatever mm-hmm. let's how are you doing today let's just do us today let's let's go well, no such thing i say like this <laughs> we we've been together almost nine years now and we just now start working together actually like doing business together so it ain't no it ain't no break time right now all we thinking mm-hmm. about is what's next this in the business true. so right. and that actually helped our relationship so it, it made us closer we got right. now we do business together instead of Separately. Living separate lives. Right. Wow. I got a question. Um, how did you, how, you know, you've seen uh, Half Paint, you know, go through all these roller coasters in his career. Like, um, how did it affect you and what made you so strong enough to hold on? Um, <laughs> let's just start off by saying in the beginning, honestly, I was the person pushing him the most. <laughs> really? Yes. So you was the one making him go up and yes. down the roller? <laughs> all yes. through the hey, look, when I first it met was, her. I ain't know how to drive enough. She taught me how to drive. She told uh, me that's hard. she told me if you don't know how to drive and have a car within two years, I'm gone. That's mm. hard though. <laughs> two <laughs> years though? That's a long time though. That's a long time. But I got it before then. A couple though. months. It took him a couple months. <laughs> I was this was when I was working at the post office. He um And you were nineteen? I was nineteen at okay. the time. He texts me and sent me a picture of a car. I'm like, "Who car is that? It was it's mine. I'm like, you know how to drive it? Because I knew like he I used to let him drive my car and we used to go short distances <laughs> <laughs> so it shocked me but um and i i used to have to help him because a lot of times he falls complacent so mm. i used to have to push him like if you don't get this in order then i'm sorry i, I gotta go mm. wow that's hard man because at the end of the day the boy can't drive and i, I seen him when he left here the other day <laughs> he and, still and can't then, drive. Yeah, he drove to the side <laughs> See? and i said damn that's that's half pain he's like you yeah, yeah. know <laughs> didn't he just leave yep. but he's back over there Okay, and that's how I go. So I know, you know, mm-hmm. I get. I, I know it was a hard deal for you. You know, I'm still teaching them. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> and, and riding on the passenger side is hard for me. <laughs> it's very hard to sit there because you're still trying to drive. Because I'm trying to figure out if we too close over here. That you know, you <laughs> no, way here. That was just real. me. <laughs> like, she I complained could, the whole but time. But when I you're got. in the passenger side, it always feels that way, no it, matter what. Uh-uh. I looked at him yeah. today. I'm like, it seems like you're driving slow. And then I'm looking. I'm like, are you on the line? Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Well, my wife's Jamaican, of course. I don't know if you guys what been over have there. What do to do with anything? Because if you've been over there and seen how these people drive, you will understand what I'm dealing with here in America. Oh. You bring the same style over here. Now over there, they got the stern wheel on the <laughs> other side, so you got the stern wheel like you in what. Europe Japan, or somewhere, Japan. 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 They got the, the the steering wheel over here, like you in driver's ed. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, like, and she driving over there, and it's still like these folks don't care. <laughs> like they have a sign up plan. It's not a, it's a sign, but it says drive this way, you won't hit a gate or something real slick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, is these real signs over here? You know, <laughs> it's a different world over there. So if you guys haven't been. You need to go. Y'all been over there? No. I haven't. Boy, y'all need to go over there. That's where I was trying to but go don't last drive. year for my birthday. But so. do not drive and don't ride with people. Stay on the tour site. Stay. 
They can't drive, bro. Thanks for the heads up. You'll see. Why. Just <laughs> they try can it drive then. perfectly well. Don't listen to him. Okay, tell me something. You weren't scared on that bus. No. You were <laughs> that the bus. We took a charter bus from Kingston to uh, Montego Bay. No, Ocheria. Ocheria. And boy, the guy on the, the Jamaican guy said, I will never ride this bus again. I said, What the hell? <laughs> Because we oh, like to get man. another bus, yeah. Oh, damn. I was like, man, Crazy. it's just a different world. No. Yes. No. <laughs> that Jamaican guy that you saw probably hadn't been to Jamaica in probably about 40 years. What does that matter? So don't yeah. He ain't know the roads. He like got that. a very, he got Americanized. He wasn't used to being in Jamaica anymore. You see what I'm dealing with. Now, let's talk about I'll y'all, man. Forget about <laughs> us, man. Um, you, so, um. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ali. No, so I, why decide to go into film? I know you've always dealt with cameras and, you know, doing film, but why actually take this as a business? Let's do this together out of everything else you can do. Why that? Um, <clears throat> well, film has been uh, bringing in money into our household for the past eight, nine years. So now we're just taking it to the next level. Really, it's the next level. You can't do, I couldn't do music videos forever. Yeah, because you had laid off of the film and was doing those music reviews for a while. You wasn't really doing film as much. Mm -hmm. So if that was mainly your breadwinner, why even drift off into music reviews and not just put your all into that? Because I, 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 I read about, like I said before, I burned myself out on it. I mm -hmm. couldn't just, mentally, I couldn't keep doing it. Okay. It was too much. It was just, nah. So this time, going back into it, what are you going to do different that you're not going <laughs> to get mentally burned out this time? Do a business right. So what the didn't you do time. the first time so I that did, people can... Everything okay, was wrong. No, I did nothing. I was pulling up <laughs> with my camera, shooting videos, posting them. I get no back-end revenue. I'm not... I'm talking Even the way that I shoot the videos, I'm down there not setting up lights. I'm not... No treatment to the video. I'm just pulling up, shooting trap niggas in their kitchen three times a day mm. in my hottest stage. I'm three times a day, every day, shooting trap videos. That shit burn me out. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. It didn't burn me out. I enjoyed every day I'm living. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, let's be real. Now, y'all playing games over here, but this is Half Paint, and Half Paint is one of those guys, and I really respect <clears throat> what you've done. If you notice what Boss Talk 101 has done, we've created a platform where we build foundation, and the Dallas Foundation would not be the same if that was not a half mm -hmm. paint. So I don't play about that. I'm a real one. That's why you got me over here doing what. They be like, how this show doing that? Because he's too real. And I and, and been that way ever since I met him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Far as I knew, I know the key players, and he's one of those guys. And I'm just blessed to have him on Boss Talk 101. Real talk. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Give me my bump, man. Oh, man. Just leave him nigga gave me the damn fist bump late, but I'm gonna let him my drink. I looked at my cup. I'm out. Oh yeah, let's get him straight. Yeah, let's get him straight. Get him straight. He'll talk more once you give him a little more. <laughs> so did he warn you about coming over? Like, dog, they different over there. Eh? Boss talk. Did he tell Beyond? Not really, but he didn't tell you. It feels like. Home. home, you know. I, saw, oh, I, I told her the other day. I said we're gonna go do boss talk. She was like, because she she sometimes she get in the habit of talking in like a professional voice. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm like, I'm telling you, we'll go to they boss talk. Like that. He ain't gonna. He's like talking to your uncle now. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't gonna be talking <laughs> in no nah, professional voice. But it, that's we what I'm used to. Because after, <laughs> yeah. of course, <laughs> after of course running the bakery business, a lot of different people who are. Up there, you got to talk to him professionally. I deal so with I, him. So I'll be putting on my little this voice, and it's he, cool. you got to stop doing that. No, I'm gonna be real <laughs> with you. I deal with that too. People who watch me, shout out mm -hmm. to all of y'all because I know y'all be watching me. <laughs> but anyway, I deal with them. Uh, work is work, and I get it, professionalism, whatever. But when I came over and started this with me and my wife, that's something I vow to do is get away from that because you do it so much. Why not be real with one another? This the way we act. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing about operating in the entertainment space. You can just be yourself. Self. You don't have yes, to put true. on no professional yeah. voice and shit. No, nah, like but I, I wasn't playing with you, man. Uh, when, I, when I heard your music uh, videos, I loved it, bro. Like, like, I heard it in different cities. I told you I heard it at Tony's, that exclusive. Yeah. Remember I told you that exclusive yeah. game? Uh, Yellow Bees, that's on me. I remember that, you know, like different things that were going on during that time and different stuff that he was doing even before that. And I would hear that say, like, have pint film. It's on different, <laughs> different. It was hard. Like, and I was like, damn, that boy, that go hard. I wonder, I never thought I would have got to meet you back, 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 yeah. when trapping design and all that stuff during those days. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I didn't know, I didn't have no boss talk. 
Nigga, I was a boss talking. You know what I'm saying? I was here, yeah. but I was not 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 even tripping on that. You know what I'm saying? But I did enjoy the video, so thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Now here's your a gift. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so well, I, all right. So what do you guys? Uh, okay, me and my wife. Okay, we we had this, we got this couple thing. You you heard a couples retreat? Mm -hmm. When you uh, with Phase on Love was on there. That's mm -hmm. my partner actually. Yeah. But <laughs> he had me laughing. But anyway. Uh, we we go out with these with, with these couples. Uh, we eat dinner. Most of them own restaurants. That's the way I roll. You got to own a restaurant to be in the circle. Mm -hmm. Only one don't have to own one is me. <laughs> you know, I eat at everybody's house. I'm just gonna. Be <laughs> I come in wondering who gonna cook what. You know what I'm saying? And who cooked what? Mm -hmm. And that's how we roll. Well, we got over there and we got to talking around around the table. And they was like, I said, Yeah, me and my wife, we left the phones at home a few times. And just say leave the phone and. Do you know they told me they could never do that? And that blew my mind because I remember a time when people didn't even have phones right. like that. Because I'm older. Mm -hmm. But they said they could not go without it not one second. I agree. Well, I ain't going to say what one second, think? but I could never leave my phone at home. Never. First of all, I can't, I'm can't. i not even going to get to my destination because I am I GPS <laughs> everywhere. See what I'm saying? I GPS to go to but a corner just to store. But to go to a, up to a restaurant and eat with your wife and not be disturbed, you could never. The uh, restaurant your girl, that you already know, maybe, and you just, you know, going you to You couldn't do it. I, I, he I can, literally I cannot put his phone down. I'm, I have an old soul, so I don't really, I'm not into, you know. I'm the type of nigga be on the phone the whole day. The whole entire Does that annoy you? Yes. It annoys her. Still to this day. <laughs> so I'm like, if I knock your phone out your, your, your hand, I'll be wrong. But, you know. I'm, I'm, so you could never leave without it? No. <laughs> Do you ever be like, well, we need to talk. Let's have a, a discussion and put your phone down. And doesn't work. <laughs> wow! Because you want their undivided attention, yeah. and then that also because buzz. you get that thing. <laughs> try and get. Try yeah. and you should try hiding it one day. I, I am. I definitely will. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an argument, man. And they like it you know be. somebody lost a, a drug addict. Like, why would you take my bike? My daughter, our daughter, uh, hit it the other day. She sure did. He went crazy. <laughs> she hit it in my purse. My phone, I just had it. <laughs> wow! So, so you can't do without it. Man, I got to ask everybody, get in the comments, man. Half Pint just said he would never leave his phone for nothing. Just, I won't leave it. Uh, is there anybody out there that says this is not the way to do things? Or do you, you know, or do you agree with him? Yeah, get in the comments. <laughs> 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 but eat that nigga up. You got to, <laughs> I see, <laughs> see, look, you ain't used to do that. I see you trying to uh, engage, tra transform, transform yourself I, to I a really, YouTuber. No, hey. I do it because I felt like because they keep talking. Yeah, yep. so it's time to start keep talking the to them. Going. Yeah, so that's the only reason I started doing Absolutely. it. Like they want to hear from me, but I won't never answer no comments. <laughs> uh -huh. I never yeah. did. I've never answered comments or nothing like that. I've yeah, never. You, you shouldn't in my life. You know what I'm saying? You but shouldn't. I got a co-host. That I <laughs> he'll go on there and he's respond. in there every oh, day. That nigga ain't letting nothing slide. <laughs> that nigga ain't letting nothing slide. He, he here to make sure everything gonna be all right, and he gonna be in them comments. He don't play by boss talk one on one, and that's what you supposed to have, right? Yes. So tell us the name of the film that y'all just recently worked on. Because I see y'all, when I look on your Instagram, I see you, you put out something for Halloween. So mm -hmm. you put out uh, skits for Halloween. I know you probably have one coming up for Christmas. But I know. You're smart. <laughs> but I know. <laughs> Do you have one for Easter too? No. Okay, just Not checking. Not yet at least. <laughs> just checking. But these skits, um, are they, they're not a part of the movie or are they a part of the movie and you're just dropping like little skits from the movie? No, these are the movie. These are short films. So short films. It's just quick drive home your Hello. point. 15 minutes. Right, it's 15 it's minutes. Hard. I mean, it could be from anywhere to from one minute to a short film. It could be 30 seconds if you want to. Mm -hmm. it's just anywhere up to like an hour. It's it's hard, but you man. have a full blown movie that you did as well. Yes. And how long is that? An hour. That's an hour and a half. And a half. Yeah. Um, and that's that's what I was trying to see if the short film is anything have to do with the movie at all. Or no, 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 totally, no. That's are, what I was yeah, trying to see. Separate content. Completely separate. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay, the one okay. that you're talking about is Boo Thing. Boo Thing. That was the one for Halloween. Right. Um, written by me, of course. <laughs> that's all. <hard. laughs> how long would it take you to write it? Um. Honestly, he be rushing me because Pine is really indecisive. So we were supposed to be working on one thing. So that's what I'm writing. 
And then um, he like, okay, no, I want to go ahead and do this. I finished it in a day. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> I finished it in that's a day. Um, Does he give you, like, he yeah. tell you, like, okay, this is what I want it to be about. You just write it. Sometimes, but it's more so teamwork. Like, well, with that one, that um, that idea, the story idea came from Lil Runny's girlfriend. Okay. She pitched the idea to him, and Runny pitched it to Pint as if it was his. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard. So, <laughs> that's hard. So I know. They, really, they, do, they do be doing that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, she don't. Ronnie girl ain't uh in the entertainment business. Why not give your man this idea? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? She's she's kind of like me. She's not all into social media like that. So she been on Boss Talk. She has but sitting right there. Yeah, <laughs> when she My was point pregnant. Exactly. When, yeah, but the good thing one one thing um couples don't realize or wives don't realize that whatever their husbands or significant others are into. Be a part of it somehow, mm -hmm. so you don't feel like oh you spending all the time over there and we don't spend yep. any time together. Blah blah blah. Why not take interest in it and do it together? And you are absolutely right because absolutely. when he used to do music videos, for one they used to, like he used to be out to like two three in the morning sometimes, and I like he'll hear me nagging twenty four seven. But now that we're actually doing movies together. I see how much work it's taking because it's actually been times when we were um, filming Sunday Fun Day, we were out to like what was the latest. Like three, four in the morning. Well, the first night, I'm not gonna lie, I went home. I told him I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the rest of the nights, I, I thugged it out. You know, that's hard. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you understand, mm -hmm. and then you learn how to do it. And they go under so much pressure trying to get it done, whether editing and doing all the things. Yeah. If you can learn how to do it, you can help ease some of that pressure exactly. off of them. You exactly. know. Exactly. And then to find reliable people to work for you is hard. You can rely on your yeah, spouse. Exactly. Like, so why not and teach that's each what other I told how to him, do it? Okay, so I told him that, that the let, other day. Now that, now that you say that, let me segue into this. So originally I had somebody else, before she started writing movies, I had somebody else write Sunday Fun Day. Okay. Then I, when, I, when I wanted to get into the idea, then the girl that I had write it, she kind of just ghosted out of right. nowhere. And like I'm like... And she like, nigga, I can do that. I can write because a fucking... Because granted, my feelings were hurt anyway because I was already writing a script. Go ahead. That's going to come out later. <laughs> I was okay. already writing a script. And then when he told me, oh, yeah, I got this girl to write it. I'm like, who even is she? But, you know. Right. No shade to her. But right. I was like, why would you go get somebody else to write it? But exactly. when she ghosted, I was just like, that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. Look, so that then, was the, that, I'm so glad that she ghosted, though. That was the best thing that she could have ever done. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And Everything it's good happens it happened so early because later on, as the film started growing bigger, and then she goes at that time, it'll make it even exactly. worse. Exactly. You'll never exactly. be power. None of them folks would leave and stuff like that. Exactly. You got to have a writer to stay down. Mm -hmm. And I ain't going to lie to you. How how was it? Because God was really just using her to show you what you was about to be dealing with. But I ain't going to get into that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you've seen some of the things in her writing, her skills. You're like, okay, you know, dang, this I, I don't like that. But what did she bring more to the table than what the other young lady that you had right? The ghostage. Um, well, first of all, me and her already got a connection, so our minds already work on the same spectrum. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. anything she writes, okay. most likely I'm alike because we think the same anyway. Okay. So I I'm I've never seen a bad script from her yet. So Wow. Yeah. That's hard. And and and, and, and what, what what about you? I mean, how how much pressure is it to 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 make sure that these things are done appropriately in a way to where you know already people are going to be seeing it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Half Pain is a known uh, guy who people are watching him. You've been over at the is it the pastry shop? What y'all close that or is that still a? We're in the process of closing it. Okay, yeah, well, well, we're about uh, to of course take on films full time. So, so those people that know you from that gonna mm -hmm. say, man, she should have stayed over cooking these cakes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, but surprisingly, <laughs> it's actually not pressure. It's not any pressure being applied because I'm actually like a super creative person. Okay. But she I'm do like, it so easy. I'm not how he is. He's his face is everywhere. He he. Everybody knows half pint. They talk to half pint. But with me, I'm. I just like to be behind the scenes a lot. So um, it wasn't a lot of pressure because, like he said, it comes to me easy. But at the same time, I'm also one of those people. I'm hard on myself. So. I reread it three times. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like it. So I have him read it. He likes it. He likes it. It's nothing wrong with it. What are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> You're so a perfectionist. That's I am what a perfectionist, it is. but yeah. it's, it doesn't really feel like it's any pressure on me. Well, um, 
That's good. That's good stuff. That's good to know because mm-hmm. we're going to come on with it, you know. Uh, being that you and Yellow Beezy done had uh, relationships together and worked together, will he ever be doing any cameos in any short films? Hey, look, I'm going to tell you like this. I still fuck with Yellow. That's my brother. But I tried to get him in Sunday Funday, and he told me no. Mm. So he would never be in wow. no movie. You can't say. you. We don't know never. That's Never. Yeah. Because he told you no one Why time? would he tell me no to my first one? And that's my day one partner. Then I will never know. Maybe, Maybe did he forward? tell you no? Did he give you a reason? No, he said no. See, we, we do this every you know time. This so is funny. boss talk now. <laughs> Why would he tell you no when you and him have done so much work together? And he knows, they already know how I am. So why? You know Did you that? ask him for explanation? No, I don't ask Yellow for explanations. I, I, first of all, when I called, I was already expecting a no because I know Yellow. For real? So, <laughs> it just, you just got to know Yellow, bro. It's not it's not even like a hard feelings thing. You just got to know Yellow to know, okay, I'll try, but so if he I know the nigga that say he no. He ain't coming. You said what? He ain't coming on Boss Talk. You just told it. You his partner from day one. <laughs> Hell, I never get this nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? You probably won't get him. Yeah, because you just said he said no to a nigga he been knowing for a million years. But let me you ask you, <laughs> But let me ask you a question. Your film blows up. And you are everywhere. Mm-hmm. And you invite him then. Would he come? Of course. <laughs> but I wouldn't That's the invite thing. him. But, but, but why you, are people like but people why have people to like, like that? support you from day Especially right. I don't somebody understand. who I'm been, not just talking about just him. I'm mm-hmm. talking people in general. Because right. there's a lot of people who do that. Yeah. Oh, why he, is yeah, that? First why? of all, let me say, Yellow's not the only one. Right, but Yellow's why? Well, 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 you know me. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's like, who else? He's like, who else? Nigga scooting on to the mic. Why would people tell half by no? Hey, man. <laughs> and you've been putting in a lot and, of work and out here. Let me and say, these are people that you've worked with before? Of course. But they've gotten bigger now? Of course. So now that they're on another level of in their career, but but they don't they forgot about it's that. All they forgot about again. that uh that Literally. that uh camera. What was your first camera? <laughs> <laughs> what was that first I camera giving up, nigga? Cool pics. That man. cool pics, yeah. Them cool pics the nigga used to put you on you them just forgot about the cool pics. Huh? That's over with. The cool pics is out of there. That, right, no man. more, no more cool pics. <laughs> As we said earlier, everything happens for a for reason. reason. Mm-hmm. You it know, does. How but it shows you a lot to me. He always, we're we're different too, just like how you're different. different. He'll reach out to some people and they'll say no, or mm-hmm. they won't answer whatever, and he'll continue. Yeah, mm-hmm. I try or to get. Or they'll talk to him and then just won't come. And I'm like, don't reach out no more. Please Thank don't you. reach out no more. Thank you. And yeah, then, that's her. She and like then <laughs> me. I a so month love or two man. later, right. he's trying to reach out again. And I'm like, oh, why? We yeah, can keep going. Want... There's a million people in this world. There's so many people in the world who are willing to support you. Thank I'm you. not going to beg you for exactly. your support. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's how I am. And, and, and then probably God telling you no. Exactly. But you're just hard headed. Yeah. Yeah, and you want to, you want to, yes, you know what I mean. You want to, hey man, come on, let him come through, please, God, because I don't depend on man, you know. So I, I get I, it. I, that I see now from from doing music videos, my whole process with that, it taught me to never depend on a nigga. So mm-hmm. I'm a nigga got one chance with me now, nigga. I'm it's asking over. if it's, if you don't, I'm then I, don't ever expect next it again. So and and, there, and here we go again. Um, other people, other people outside of the Dallas market, are you willing to work with outside sources? Like going to because there's a lot of people that don't get it. Like you'll get, you know, the Bible says profit is without honor in its own, own country. Own. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times you reach up because I ain't gonna lie, I might not. I'll be like, I might not get a a yellow, but I got Carlos Miller, or I got Derez Deshaun, correct, or I got half paint, I got a little running. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being Absolutely. real. So I don't play with it. Like we keep mm-hmm. we keep moving and we keep going on. But I found a lot of times when you do go outside of the sex of where you're from, people show you more love. A lot of times. Definitely. But what I don't like, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, is that the fact that you look at who come now that's being genuine. And then it drives you more to keep pushing if you don't come because they're like, okay, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then when... The, these people do want to come later on, and even if you do let them to let them interact, in your mind you're like you fake. That's just playing politics, but I don't play you're politics. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way. That's really politics. what it is. I don't. I personally, I can't speak for nobody. Else. I don't like fake people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't. I. Well, what you gonna have to do is get off the internet. 
You the whole internet is fake. I don't entertain. I don't entertain because it. it. It definitely, even the ones you think is real is fake. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I really can't play them that close. Now, peace is a thing that surpass knowledge and all understanding when you get it right. You know what I'm saying? So you get in peace when you don't deal with certain people who pretty much, you know, mm -hmm can't, won't come, won't say yes, won't. Mm -hmm. And that's cool. You know, like I said, I put people on this very screen that did not come. And six months later, I done interviewed everybody they keep hugging on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm petty. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep not in the inbox and can't get on. Yep. I'm serious. That's how I go. That's how I have to be. <laughs> that's, that's pretty sad, but that's what happened. You're, so you're, you're hour and, and you said hour and 30 movie that's coming soon. When is it dropping? Uh, somewhere in the first quarter of next year. Hey. And what's the name of it? Sunday Fun Day. Oh, that's Sunday the Sunday Fun Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's okay. The one, that's the one Yellow Beezy wouldn't uh, give me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, shout, shout out to Matt K. That, that whole blow up. Shout, shout, shout out, out to Matt, to Matt K. K. He came shout to play out that to role. Matt K, yeah. man. So who are you leading um, characters? Us. I know. Me, mm -hmm. Lil Runny, Mr. JB the Barber, Stretch, and then we got four girls, Dami Korean, Honey Gold, um, Delithia, and we got Nisha. Delithia, pronounce oh. her name right because she you didn't know. Did you tell her? Nisha <laughs> is his niece, cousin? No, she's my cousin, cousin. man. Oh. Know that, yeah. yeah, they found out. You know, I'm giving the pop. <laughs> That's it, my girl, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They found that you know, it, it, it went over the waves. Now, Anisha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm my daughter the same age, right? Yeah, yeah she's her, her mom's my first cousin. Oh, good, yeah, okay. but they good people, they mm -hmm. country just like me. If you talk to them long enough, you'll find that out. <laughs> but no, nah, so uh, I'm, I'm proud of y'all, you know, doing something different, you for sure, mm -hmm. because a lot of time you have to shift gears in careers. You know what I mean? I've seen a lot here, man. If I start telling you the history and not just here, but us doing entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, dealing with business, dealing with all different things that we have dealt with, you have to switch it up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? So that hey, I might need to go over there where she closing down that bait that page. You know, I like tweets and just sit over there and get where is it at so I can go over there and get the lease. It's on Lancaster and Twenty. I'm sure she don't have any sweets in there. No, right no, now. no. She I'm talking about. I'm sitting right here, so it ain't no, no sweets. No, what I'm right. telling you is I'm about to reopen. You know, I cooked the banana pudding last or this morning, so I can Did go over you? there with my from scratch. Southern, yeah, from scratch. I might go over there and go to, you know what I'm saying? And, and then they come in, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm seeing the little brother. <laughs> Make your money. Don't, don't forget about me. Yeah. Send me twenty dollars on cash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you send me them old customers. See, I, I know because the grind real. Uh -huh. That's a whole network right there. Mm -hmm. Somebody could really benefit from if they was if they looking to get into business. Yeah. yeah. So you know anybody like that? You wouldn't no. trust them, would you? No. No. Damn. Mm -mm. <laughs> Go ahead, babe. Mm -mm. So, what can we look for from Sunday Fun Day? A bunch of laughs. Let's that's start right. there. Some fun. So it's oh, a you didn't mention Shushan's name. Um, she I, I mean, owns we, Dynasty a, Denim. She's in Sunday Fun Day as well. It's okay. a lot of actors. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it is a lot of actors, and it's a lot of people who are you know locally have mm -hmm. so, big names. So let me say this. Let me say this about Sunday Fun Day. So Sunday Fun Day was our first film. So don't expect <laughs> amazing acting in it. We. This is my niggas. These my people. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah. Just got some shit together. So you didn't do a casting and call and, and nothing like that. I got my people in them. So <laughs> this is me and my people in them. So don't expect no it good ass. It might still be a good It's going to be a good It's, gonna, it's good. Yeah. It is it's good. A good it's ass. really him being hard on himself because after we, of course, we've been filming. We, when we work hard on Sunday Fun Day. We spend all those nights filming it and then we just put out booth thing. We were like, man, the acting and the quality of this is amazing. And he he's like, mm. I want to redo Sunday Fun Day, and I'm like, dang, I do too, but we ain't got time for that. Yeah. Right, we got to keep hard. it pushing, you know. That's all. <laughs> but That's it's hard. just it, it's just graduating, yeah, and yeah. learning more, yeah. Because even whenever you said before you said that, I was thinking like, I know you did film somewhat before. I'm like, what have you learned from this that you didn't know before? Like I said, first of all, the the essentials that I was never doing, the and lighting. I don't know why lighting, color correction, color grading, I was not doing these things. I was just doing music videos, chunking a, a LUT color over it, and chunking it out. I that's, was, that's crazy because a lot of times when people, 
used to tell him about editing and he would always say how he edit do everything in post mm -hmm. right They're like why you need to do everything in you know now so that whenever you're doing it you don't have that much to do he's like but the way in which he do it he could actually be editing a movie because mm -hmm. everything is in raw and then he do all the color afterwards and yeah. do everything afterwards. Definitely. You just gonna get a game up like that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to figure this you out. That's why, the, that's why the interview looks so good. Man, I ain't getting working, behind that man. computer. Now, yeah, I have to because I, I'm anal about the things oh, that we do. We do everything out. now. Here we go. There we go. Give yourself credit. Well, Wait. she just started two weeks ago. You know when he taught me how to edit. Now she she used to be edit, and now she edit, and so she run that now. She be watching. She be watching me edit too. So she's trying to grasp yeah. it. People looking for shortcuts. Go when he used to say what he did to other people. They're like, "You taking the long route? Why are you doing it that way?" A you lot of these programs do got shortcuts and templates and yeah. stuff that you can just drag and drop. And but. She, what, you gonna see somebody else with it too? Yeah, for she sure. was thinking about when I used to liquefy them models that used to work for us. So <laughs> <laughs> liquefy them models. <laughs> you have to try to make them thin. One girl, one it's white girl liquefy. called me. She say, no. uh, "Make my make my chest look different than that." I said, "Okay, liquefy." <laughs> <laughs> he would do all of that. He hide everything, make it look different. <laughs> Like, oh, you a whole surgeon out here. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they are going for the BBLs they and all BBLs that. BBLs on camera. On camera, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, but so the 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 next film is what? Do you, how many do you have so far, if you don't mind me asking? Okay, the next one we're working on right now is the Christmas special. That's okay. That's called The That's More a short The Merrier. Film. Yeah. I like that. Christmas short film. What's This is going to be a little longer than the rest of them. The, the, the last ones was like 13 minutes, 15 minutes. This one's going to be like at least 30 minutes. So is it like a comedy again? Yes. It's a comedy. So Pretty much love comedy. Anything, anything we do going to have a comedic we element in it. We are both really goofy, goofy people. people. Goofy. So yeah. it's, it feels natural to write There's comedy There's no scripts. way we could ever do things <laughs> completely serious. serious. It's going to have comedy in it. I have two right. completed scripts that don't have a lick of comedy in them. Yeah, but they're, that's because they're they true stories. Yeah, they're true yeah. stories. Well, one of them true stories. <laughs> Is it gonna make me cry? It's gonna make yes. you, both of them are gonna make you cry. Yes, oh, <laughs> baby, she cried on Woman King. They were gutting niggas on that movie. <laughs> it was sad. <laughs> it was, that Same. part was sad. And let me tell you and something. Everybody you else cried, on that? cried about that part. <laughs> I shouldn't even else been there. Too. Well, did you go see it? Mm -mm. I don't go. Whatever. Don't don't. The man, gotta see it. Woman <laughs> Thank King. Thank you. That ought to tell y'all. Don't go. <laughs> That woman in there, Viola Davis, with a knife. She did an awesome job. Viola. Cutting niggas' necks off, it. rolling them in bags. Don't, don't go. Don't, don't go. go. Not my brothers. All the brothers don't go. And I don't know if we want to watch a uh, 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 Black Panther yet. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm going to watch figure it, too. it out. Yeah, I'm going to watch that. Well, Thank watch you. It. Again. Thank watching that. Again. Because it's a female. Again. That's why he's talking being, about it. I just don't know how much they're going to try to influence it with I got. What I want to see how they're gonna spin the story now. Yeah, You're right. I, I got. That's see. the reason why I want to go watch it. Yeah. Well, I probably I have to go. Be good. I, mean, I mean, if I watch Woman King, I might as well head on over there too. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's gonna be good. It is. Yeah, yeah. I love Marvel everything anyway. Yeah. 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 Well, it, it, yeah. Good popcorn eating. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> So <laughs> okay, so you said so December. When is when are you rolling it out for Christmas? Like the week before? The uh, the Christmas one to drop like. Whatever the the twelve days of Christmas, whatever twelve days okay, before Christmas, twelve days before yeah. Christmas. <laughs> and when are you finished? I, I really just made that up off the top of my head. Oh, but. Say, we did not that. Right, I just made that up. The one, the other one, um, is it going to premiere at like uh, a movie, like a movie theater? theater? Sunday fun day? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna, gonna do, do a premiere. For Am that. I gonna be like the guest or something? Yes. Like I'm gonna be. You want boss yes. talk? Boss talk on the red carpet. We, we already we did talk on one, the red but I'm not doing that. I want to be the one walking the carpet. I've tried. I filmed and all that and stood there and talked. I don't want to do that. No, I want you doing interviews. See what I'm on saying? On the red carpet. You don't, don't want to do work. interviews? Oh, oh, you want to walk? Oh, you want to that already? You want to dress up and <laughs> you got to get everybody with clean. <laughs> Everybody I get, get my people. Movie. My people have on boss talk. We'll be there, but me, I'm just gonna be having fun, running around, sitting up, looking at the movie, saying, "Man, half plane don't got that damn audio right." Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you, we wait to, we wait to, Let me tell you how he is. Okay, just like I said, he's a nice one. I'm the mean one. Let me tell you how we do this. Right, we went to a movie premiere. And we watch a movie, and when everybody asking him, "How was it?" Oh, it was good. I loved it. <laughs> He hates Ask me. No, it was it was a good movie. 
you ask me, I'm like, well, the audio, and then this one person that you had in there, they weren't a pro at it because the facial yeah. expression wasn't matching what they were That's saying. That's the type of shit we be. Da, da, da. We don't watch movies yeah. the same at all no more. <laughs> Ever all. since we started doing this, yeah, we, that's be, how it is. we be picking niggas apart. Mm-hmm. We be watching professional movies like, oh, they fucked up on that part. I see that. It makes yeah. us feel better yeah. because we know if the professional's fucking up, then we can't be too hard on ourselves right. about our fuck ups because mm-hmm. it happens. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's real, man, because when you think about it, it is something where you get better with time. You're trying to master your craft. Mm-hmm. And you just keep going and keep going until, hey man, you look up and Amazon trying to give you a, a hundred mm-hmm. million. Mm-hmm. I'm being real, hundred million. There's people running around here getting hundred million dollar checks. I'm wondering, yeah. where am I at? Man. Because you know, that's where it's wait. at now. Is that Amazon, Hulu, and all of that? It's not even like at the big movies anymore. Mm-hmm. People are not. Oh, I want to get this on the big movie screen. It's not yeah, there theaters, anymore. I think theaters is damn near finna go like obsolete. Exactly. After a while, theaters is gonna be no I, more. Uh, but I don't. It's like yes and no because at the same time, people want date night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, what you gonna date night in your house and or not even in your house because then you have teenagers who still want to go date night. Mm-hmm. They don't have no house to go date night in. You know yeah, what I mean? That's so true. that's true. It, it, I don't. It'll know if it's always gonna be go, a thing. It's yeah. gonna be. I think this is where the mom and pop movie theaters need to come back to be on a smaller scale rather than on this big scale because a big movie theater like AMC is not being filled up with all of the, you know. Uh huh. But a mom and pop one, that's where it should come back. Some in. of them did, like my. Uh, I think Netflix started as a mom and pop, uh, like, um, what took over Blockbuster? Because Blockbuster used to be like the. Where Wasn't it Red to, something? Red, red, box. red Box. Red Box, yeah. Yeah, yeah Red yeah. Box. That's what Netflix was. Yeah. And yeah. people still going to. I'll well, be seeing Red Box. You know, y'all and forgetting every about the main. Walgreens. I yeah. can't wait to get them little running films on that uh, fire stick that's hot burning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bootleg that old, put that thing in, push that button. Hey, look, we had that, we had that conversation not too long ago, and we just realized bootleg movies is not a thing no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but but they're on the fire sticks. Boom. People still bootleg. Yeah, yeah, you can get That's the low the quality bootleg, version, yeah. but I'm talking about the bootleg where a nigga stand up and walk in front of the camera. Nah, they gone. That don't exist no more. That was on a. Uh, that was a, a good movie. That was a good movie. I think Ray. I seen Ray. Ray was like that when I seen that Ray. Uh-huh. I bootleg that. Oh man, somebody stood up. I said, damn. I'm talking about that? the movie where you can hear the, the crowd yeah, laughing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ray, yeah, Ray. Yeah. I remember like it was yesterday. <laughs> it was that, and we had a bunch of, we still got we some had, of them. Yeah, some. I think I kept mine. That's a, that's history. Yeah. Although we don't really have yeah. a DVD player. I would, I mean, I would love to DVD watch a bootleg movie. I got a DVD player in the, uh, in the garage. garage and I got the <laughs> movies. And one day I'm just going to sit back. My daughter had the TV. We just got rid of that. I wish we hadn't it though. With the TV with the, you know, the DVD play on the side. Mm. That oh, insignia. Damn. You push that hole right there. <laughs> and that still works. That hole was going in. Oh, I loved it, man. Matter of fact, that one that up one there, I'm that one. That one have it. That, that, that's our old TV when we first got in the, the store. It's in the front on the wall. It's in the front on the wall, oh. yeah. That hole got it. So I can get out right now. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta keep stuff like that because mm-hmm. it's gonna leave. It might come back. Vinyls came back. Yeah, that's for, what I, I, for a hot minute. My yeah. daughter, she, it might not come back, but you might be able to sell it for so much. Yeah, because yeah. nobody's in gonna have it. Nobody. But you gotta keep it in good shape. Yep, mm-hmm. we got a Nintendo sixty four right now. We sitting on. Well, oh, I, I can't wait. Twenty years, that motherfucker will be worth a hundred uh-huh. bands. Yeah, and you wow. know, people be wanting that. That, that that's an antique. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So when you guys, uh, Lil Ronnie. Mm-hmm. Cause he's been in these films. Is he? Is he the one, or do we look for another? What you mean? Is, is he, he gonna a, be in all your films? Is he a quality? Is he high quality? Cause he can do oh, videos. I really. Y'all already know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That I guy. know that, but I just want to hear you say it. Like, of course, that nigga got the Denzel feel or anything. What does he do? Do he? You ever see that that scene on uh, uh, uh what was that on uh, uh, American uh, Hustler? Uh, Denzel, you seen that movie, American Gangster? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> when the mama say, "How did you? How did you know?" When she he had bought her that, that he bought it. You remember that part? Yeah, yeah. He had bought her that. Uh, I'm acting, nigga. He had bought her the. Uh, <laughs> he had bought her the uh, uh, a chest. It was a little little dresser. He had bought. Mm-hmm. He said, "Well, you was you was six years old when they took it from me. He remade it for her." And then they put it in there, and she was acting. She slapped him too. <laughs> well, you know we don't we don't we don't kill cops. And he did. He trying to walk out and shoot them cops. See, you gotta know acting. I really watch these, act, and you should be good at it. 
Because you watch the hell out of some movies. Yeah. She watch movies like a mad person. She won't want me to say me nothing. Me too. <laughs> Don't say nothing. But, but I'm the type of person, we're totally different. Again, as I said, he'll watch a movie every day for Same a Same movie. Month. I don't have to have a new movie. <laughs> what I mean, Wakanda. That's me. Oh, my God. I watch God. that whole as <laughs> I get hyped. She been watching Django? How to Be a Player. That's yeah. hard. Oh, that's for past. six months. Three, yeah. year, three years. <laughs> yeah. That's hard. That's, that's hard. That's like every day. As soon as he comes home, he'll watch it over and over what and I, over what again. What I say? Put in a what? Now you're doing Back to the Future again. He <laughs> did it again for over and over again. Every time I look up at a TV, How to Be a Player is on. I'm like, bro, she loves it. Bro. I can't do it. That's literally my favorite movie. <laughs> and you know how like sometimes you want something on TV, but you're not trying to pay attention to it? I know that movie by heart, so it's just like, it's comforting. I hear I hear people <laughs> talking in the background. I can actually know, I know what's going on. Put That's that hoe on to clean up. <laughs> Literally, that's my favorite movie. I'm the type of person that I'll watch one movie when I get over with it. I probably 20 more years from now, then I'll watch it again. I cannot yeah, watch it back we watched to back. Above the See, that's what I'm night. going through right now, watching all the old movies from my childhood mm -hmm. that I didn't quite understand. Yeah, I'm going back watching them now. Like, okay, yeah. This show was good. It was real. good. Sometimes you just watch movies as a kid and you don't really even you don't understand know what's going the jokes. On. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's. Or you watch a show, because I used to love certain cartoons as a kid, and then when you try to find them now and watch them, you're like, I really like this. Yeah. I'm <laughs> like, I thought mm -hmm. Thundercats was the bomb, and I try to put that back on. I'm like, yeah. I can't watch it. It's you don't really, think too deep about but it. No, it's kid. really not that. You know, since the quality is went up and on the, the quality TVs, is totally like that quality different. went yeah. up, it made that other one degrade a yeah, lot right. of times too. And you know, when you was watching it, it wasn't that bad, but it's because of the degraded quality mm -hmm. yeah. that that you know what I mean. And that, the crazy thing is, I love that old quality. I love that mm -hmm. old school look on yeah. on movies. I can't I, yeah. watch that's it. Why, that's, so I, I don't like the the <laughs> yeah. the new generation look type shit with all the so clear. I like the yeah. old school Fridays. And yeah. Ooh, that was good. I like Ice Cube movies. Me too. That's my favorite. That's Me my too. favorite movie producer. So, so you and Adam Sandler. Mm -hmm. Adam so, Sandler to some point. I love Adam. He's sort of crazy. I, I like to know if, if where are you headed with this? What do you expect at the end of the the, the yeah. rainbow? Shit, fucking Oscars and you take. I'm take trying to go all the way. All I, the way. Yeah. I'm not trying to be no local joker. I'm trying to go all the way. Well, that means you're gonna be putting out a lot of information. A lot of movies, uh, trailers, all that. I should see more of those. See, you know me, I go to tripping. Mm -hmm. You should see trailers all day long. Uh, I should be seeing stuff popping up on your reviews and all that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a, a trailer should pop up. You should do your own sponsoring for your own show. I'm I'm good at this. This is what you should be doing in order to get people prepared for what we about to witness mm -hmm. with Half Pint Films and everything that you're about to get into with the film industry. So that's my suggestion. I would love to see it more. You Are know you what I mean? doing more um, every film possible? I know you're doing a lot of comedy, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about every film possible. When I say that, are you sticking to mainly black films? Or are you doing just everybody? Well, he don't know that many white we'll films. Have, like, I want to do everybody. <laughs> she want to do everybody, but I, like I told her, I don't think I'll ever have a white star in my movie. It's okay. gonna be. I wouldn't black mind people. having one because sometimes okay. you, it's needed for the story you're trying to tell. Maybe Not I mean like a or maybe a co-star. I'm pro black. I love my people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love my people, but I also feel like sometimes variety is needed. But you also have to be able to and to go all the way to get them Oscars. You do got to incorporate exactly. them. That's people. true. But no, the thing, no, hold no, on, hold no, on, hold on, stop it. it. Hold on, let me you say too, this. Bro. So the reason why I asked that it's question true. was the main fact that a lot of times when I'm looking for, because he loves black movies, period. Mm. Don't put me out there and like that. <laughs> but I'm telling the truth. I'm sorry. I'm very frank. But um, whenever you um, go on TV and you're looking up black film, you don't find a lot of good quality yeah, the, exactly. black film and I hate that exactly. I, exactly you know I love Tyler Perry because of the fact that he does put out great quality mm -hmm. black film but then his problem with Tyler Perry is that he don't always depict now you gonna um, put, why you gotta put me out there go ahead because we talk <laughs> you're the only person I can talk about anyway that um 
He give black men a bad rap. Exactly. He don't really talk about you know in good a family, manner, in a positive manner, all the time. and stuff like that. So that's the part. We that always like going to jail. That should be we true always, stories, though. But at the end of the day, there are some good businessmen out there. You could do a film about a good videographer, like half pint. Hey, look, and, and Tyler think, Perry is always the good guy in his movies. Yeah, and you, <laughs> he always <laughs> Brian is always the great guy, uh-huh. the great upstanding black man in uh-huh. Tyler Perry. The movies. lawyer. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at least he's showing a black man as a lawyer and exactly. not a drug mm-hmm. dealer. A drug dealer. But I, I get tired of seeing that in black movies. Mm-hmm. I don't, we me too. Okay, I let me get say tired me and you. of the street movies. Me and you. <laughs> you will not see, I ain't going to say no, none, but you is not going to see too many street hood movies from us. We is not for one, I can't write that. Them drug dealer <laughs> movies and shit. Yeah. That's not us. That's not yeah, us. Yeah, We're you, more you, in you, the comedic. You got to get on there movie. too, though. You got to be it'll, be it'll be incorporated, Getting of course. All, and all that being sold, put in people weed. You got to say it. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be incorporated, You got to for tell, because sure. that's yeah. what they do. But now. that won't be the they main premise. They're slipping fentanyl all in people's stuff, and they dying around this whole, <laughs> get that movie out. Yeah. You, <laughs> you'll never see a movie from us where the main premise is, this nigga got to pay the plug back. Mm-hmm. Never. It's so many of the, if you go on Tubi and like watch a bunch of different um, them drug dealer movies, they always have the same story. Line. It's literally it's, it's never a one specific problem, like a real problem. It's always, oh, they broke in my house. They took all my drugs. They took all the money. You know, it, now they it's got a repetitive. nigga tied up in the interrogation with niggas. Of, with and that don't even really happen. In real Sick life. of it. Like, but when on, you now. do one like like look, with Byron in it, like Byron, you know what? Byron, Lottery ticket. Yeah, when Byron was, he didn't. He wasn't back in the street, but he just got out of jail. On that Tyler Perry movie, and then when he got out, yeah. you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I love stuff like that. that. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, that's the point you're going with it, huh? And they shot that whole movie in the project, so they not like they not too trying to be too gangster in that movie. It's in the project. You can tell it's some black shit, yeah. but they not trying to be too gangster in that. Whole right. Movie. Yeah. Well, I love true stories. Uh, but you have to hunt to find the true mm-hmm. stories. But I'll look up any movie that says true story to me is like a must watch for me mm-hmm. because I want to find out what happened to what people. What really happened? What really right? happened? Yeah. Man, before we get off here, I got to ask you because you're a music guy uh, with Quavo mm-hmm. and Take Off. Take off. Mm-hmm. What did you, I mean, you, you've seen what's happening with that for us. Nothing difficult. Just saying, how did, where were you at when, when you heard about that? Because it messed me up when somebody called me early in the morning was like, he dead. I was like, what? Man, that was the first thing I seen when I woke up that morning. I hopped in the group chat and I just seen a whole bunch of conversation about somebody dying. I'm like, damn, who died now? I got on my timeline, seen takeoff. I'm like, Damn, like that's, that's crazy. That's the you last never would have thought that. Can you ever real low key yeah. quiet dude? The exactly. last nigga, he like, he called me off guard. <laughs> I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. That like that didn't make no sense at all to me. That's but that's life shit. Texas, it's crazy because being in Texas, you know, you kind of like man, you know, everybody doing what they doing street. I be at the house, man. To be honest with you, I've been invited out. I'm old now. I said, Money Moses, he go, or somebody can go in my behalf. You know, <laughs> shoot dice for me and everything. Whatever you want to do. Put up 20. What, well, well, you get somebody else to shoot him that's on the team. Mm-hmm. You know, get Dennis <laughs> to shoot him. You know, you know, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody don't want to shoot dice. I ain't do none of that no more. Yeah. You know? I never did. Uh, so when you think about it, just going out and hanging out, you. Somebody told me they said, you know, even with him passing, like it was, it was gonna happen anyway. Uh, he would have died on the way home in a car wreck. Or something. Well, like, Some people think it, like that. It's I'm gonna happen. It, we just, all gotta go one day. Yeah, you yeah. never know when it's when your time is right. for real. Yeah. So it's best to just. I can't. I, I I can say it's best to not think about it, but honestly, I think about it all day. You think about it, don't. Every, At least you every time honest. I get behind the wheel, I'm like. Shh. It's it's the last one. But let me yeah. ask you a question though, um, because I just had that talk with my daughter again. I always try to talk to my kids about that. Do you ever talk to your kids about that? Not yet. You know the fact that because in my mind I'm like as a parent we try to prepare them for this world, mm-hmm. and part of preparing them is preparing them that it doesn't. You're gonna get depressed if anybody die anyway. You're gonna be sad and whatever, but to let them know that anybody can go at any time. Mm-hmm. Um, don't be mad at God. Don't be mad at this person, that person, whatever. It was just my time. Just think about all the good times we had together. Mm-hmm. Try to try to fill your heart with that. 
because I've seen people who ended up in depression, can't move on, don't know how to handle it when mm -hmm. mom, dad, grandparents, whoever pass away that's close to them because they never spoke about death. They never experienced anybody who was close to them dying. True, but I ain't gonna lie. There's n there's no amount of talking in the world that about can to say prepare that. me for somebody mm -hmm. super close to me dying. Like, no. I'm gonna lose my mind regardless. Yeah. Have you ever had anybody him. close to Not you? Not super close, no. Take me with them. That's what you're supposed to say. Yeah, <laughs> that's how. That's how that's I be after, 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 you, after you lose yeah. that one yeah, person, yeah, but then you push it opens your mind to something it totally does. different. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, my dad yeah. got killed when I was 15. Wow, and I because he hasn't, of course, lost anybody close to him. Um, you lost a granny, right? Yeah. but she wasn't really, really close. Mm -hmm. yeah, she was close, but I'm talking about like my everyday yeah. friends. Yeah. I've never lost like a super. close So friend. how did you lose your? Um, dad? he was killed. But um, that's a different a different story for a different day. <laughs> oh, okay. And the story will be told. Yeah, the story that's will one be of told. The, that's 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 just say, that's one of the movies. Yeah, oh, that got, is one uh -huh. of the movies. That is one of the movies. But he was killed when I was 15. Um, and back then, it didn't bother me as much as I feel like it should have. It, that's started, why I was wondering. it started hitting me more recently. I say like three years ago. Sometimes why? I fall. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. Girl, everybody cry when they And get I older. think what it is. <laughs> Yeah, that's a I think guy. what it is, honestly, and I've noticed, I get real emotional whenever I achieve something. Like when we opened the bakery, I was super emotional because I'm like, dang, I wish my daddy was here to see this. Yeah, he um he used to always want me to go to college for journalism. Mm. I looked him dead in his eye and told him, I'm not doing that. That's boring. And then turned around and became a writer. Mm. Wow. So I'm like, dang, that's I wish old. he was here to that's see old. this. You know? that, that's, I can understand yeah, why. So it's, it's more of an emotional journey now. But you still have your mom, then. right? I still have my mom. Yeah. Okay. okay, so... When, when when we see the trailer start poking the heads out and you know what I mean and showing on different places where we can see because once you build it up you, you know how to build it up you build yellow mm -hmm. up I remember that <laughs> I like to hit you within the stump you built Erica Banks up I seen you build a lot of people up well I'm hard on him over here <laughs> <laughs> you know? so I know you know the build up process of course so when you build this up um, what we looking at probably mid how many films do you want to have out within the next say year by the end of next year we'll have at least four short films and at least two feature films out we're really trying to work on a series too um i don't know when that's going because this shit costs i know it ain't just ideas that you just i know can just go do this shit costs. yeah but yeah. see you 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 um you signed up for it of, of course you signed up for it, so at the end of the day, with you signing up for it, I mean, you got to be ready to I'm bring it. I'm ready for it. See, and the thing is, because we did sign up for it, but at the same time, you really don't know just what it takes until you're actually until you do right. doing it. You it's know? trial and error, because a lot of times people are not going to tell you. Even yeah. if you find all the, <laughs> the directors, all the writers, they're not going to open up and tell you stuff. But I really lo love, I think you should get into the series. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people look forward to that and mm -hmm. anticipate, okay, something the next, they can tune to into. give everybody something to talk, talk about. Talk about, oh, exactly. next next week. Right. I can't, just like power. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd be mad at 50 Cent because you just ended um, Raising Cane, but the next one ain't come on like the following exactly. week. Man, that's you what we're going through right now. We're like, always taking damn, this long. when is BML coming yeah. back? Right. Yeah. When you the fuck? I'd be mad <laughs> when he, he stopped dropping because he got us all hooked to it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then all of a sudden we had this long break. And I'm like, really? But we you understand. Have Three films. They gotta shoot it. They should have, cause he started off where when this one ended, the next one started that same night. Yeah. Give us a double whammy, then it it will keep going. And then all of a sudden, it's like you had this big old long. You can't give people this big long break. I know they're hooked, and when you come back, they're gonna come back to nigga, you. Please, uh -huh. that nigga know you gonna watch that old soon as you come back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. And then by that time, when you done already that grew um, your your watchers. So exactly. like just like I was, but I was real mad. late on watching Power. Power started what, 2014? Something like that. I yep. just started it last year. Girl, really? <laughs> and after I um, was watching it, I binge watched all of them it's together. Good. And now I'm like, dang, I'm hooked. So yeah, it's like, really? he, he, not, he not pressured about it. I'm mad when know? Ghost died. I was mad. <laughs> Me too. You know what that And I was still like, oh, please come back. <laughs> slick suits, taking exactly. the shirt off and them, turn it off. Turn that Love down. The thing, every, the thing every, woman about, did. every woman did. <laughs> the thing they don't know off. about it is every story has to end at mm -hmm. some point. Mm -hmm. They was doing that show for what five 
10, but it what, was such a good years. it was such a good show. It was good, but it has show. to end at some oh, yeah. point. You'll be mad at the motherfucker if they just ended at a season and they <laughs> never give you no closure what happens. Yeah. And not that's and right. then they came back after Ghost died and made the sequel with his son and that's now that's going that's doing pretty good. Well, I'm hooked on that. Me I too. can't wait till that come back. Me too. But the funny thing, I remember when that was about to start and we were like, how can he top that? There's no way he can top that. And he did. He's not going to do as good as Ghost. He doing it. No, but he that doing boy it. That good. <laughs> yeah. Especially with Mary J. Well, when Mary J. came in, that boy damn. She, 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 she did. She did. Oh, oh, it's, it's the writers. It's the writers. <laughs> Hey, the man, actors have a lot this. to do with the it. Actors too. The actors do have, have a mm-hmm. lot to do with it. Because a lot of times we do we do be having actors. They're reading it on on paper, but they're not able to actually put the right emotion into it on camera. Mm-hmm. So we're like, okay, no, don't say it like that. Say it like say it like yeah, this. Like yeah. actually, read the room, read read the script. Do you ever have to change what you wrote? For the character, like all the time, I write, yeah, because you wrote it one way, and then I want to act it. Mm-hmm. But the way how you you saying it, I'm like, no. And you got to switch it for something that a, can work for them. A lot right. of changes happen on set. A whole like, exactly. a lot. <laughs> Whatever happens on that script, and matter of fact, it really be for the best. Because if you go and read Boo Thing versus watching it, a lot of the moments is like that wasn't even in the script. Like the way that they did it, and just things that we improvised on the set that What's day matter? type shit is what really matters. Got it. Wow. Yeah. But you can't do nothing without the script. You can't. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, if if you want to get in this business, you will not do nothing because we've been planning to do this for so long, but we never had a writer. So when she started writing, that just that was the final piece of the puzzle. Yeah. There, you can't do nothing without it written. Wow. You just be running around like a Chicken with the head. <laughs> That's hard, man. Thank y'all for coming on the show. You know, I'm winding down. Mm-hmm. Now. You know, that mean wine when I say that. How can people see? Can, do you have an Instagram? Do yes. you have, how can people reach you and get a hold of you if they're trying to be in a film and they know you writing them? Like, I got a hard story. I want you to write about this. Mm, don't do that. There we go. <laughs> They're going to do it I anyway. Have a lot of people already inquiring about me writing scripts, but I feel like. He's like, I got her focused. Putting in um, as hard of the work it, it takes to write a script, you don't want to sell somebody a great script and then they give you a shitty production. Yeah, but that's yeah. why you tell them on it. you can do it as long as they use your it. production. That's, Correct. There you go. Yeah. I already told her. I'm like. Everything mm-hmm. I'm it's never shooting deal. nothing that you didn't write. Mm-hmm. You're never writing nothing that I didn't shoot. That's but, it. But so, so and yeah, it we, until we get to you. the bigger, you know what I'm saying? Then we'll have our own team of writers. We'll have writers. Yeah. We'll have other production teams to go out and get the. You know what I'm saying? To do it. It's yeah. a half pint film. You already <laughs> been you setting are, it up, yeah. nigga. Yeah, nigga. Half pint film. Reason. Yeah, that boy already had this in motion, y'all. He planned it all. Um, so he knew I, about it. So, yeah. the, so the last thing I want to say, y'all definitely got to come back because I have a segment that will talk about couples issues and relationships. Yeah. Look how he Sounds looking. Great. Why we got to come back? Why we can't do it right now? We can't yeah, do it right I'm now. not doing it. <laughs> No, I'm y'all not want to be a part of that? Who want to hear about your issues? I got my own damn issues. And, uh, and man, solutions. This, and this, solutions. This real it's life, not real uh, life stuff. Yeah, whenever y'all, t- t- what you going to tell next? You Everybody going to last that we long. Gonna talk, we going to talk, gonna talk about everything. There's no holes, but we're going to talk about sex life, everything. I do it. Look how he looking. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we'll come back. Yeah, that's what I know, man. You we'll don't know what back. you're dealing with. Let them do we a little winning about section or something. Monogamy, poly- polygamy, everything. Yeah, we'll come back without our daughter and we'll do that. Exactly. One. <laughs> <laughs> you got precious ears, man. Let's go, bro. So, you notice what I said? I said next time. And then you try to use the them. big words. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she don't know about it. <laughs> She gonna look them up. Home. Mommy, what is uh, what is it for <laughs> <Pilar? Yeah. laughs> You know, nowadays they look up everything on phones nowadays. I know it, I know it man. So how can they get all the There we go. Yeah. Look, I'm like, we changed <clears throat> subjects ten times. So um, you can find me on any social media network at Sydney Monet S Y D N E E M O N E T. Did I spell that right? Yes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm reading it while you said it right on the screen. Sydney um, Monet, and then we have Wallet Productions on Instagram. Yeah. That's W Y L A T. Productions. And y'all niggas already know how to find me. Don't even mag. If you don't know how to find me by now, bitch, don't. <laughs> <laughs> how can they get a hold of you? 
Half Pint Films, man. Matter of fact, don't even contact me on Half Pint Films no more. I ain't Half Pint Films no more. Wallet Productions. Hey. <laughs> what does Wallet do mean? Wallet. Would you, would look, you at look at this? this? Oh, that's it. Okay. That's I was like wondering. That's that's it. It. So, but okay, let's talk about one more thing. I just thought, because you started by the reviews. Uh huh. Um, how long are you going to do that for since you doing the film still? Um, so I, I actually stopped doing them for yeah, like remember. a month. But Lorani told me he was like, "Why would you stop doing it? We in the era of streaming and that's right. and doing that's these streaming right. numbers. Platforms. And Why would you stop? Right. So he was absolutely was, right. I'm like, like oh, why would I stop? That's that's just extra revenue. Why would I yeah, stop doing yeah. that? Mm -hmm. I just thought you just didn't have the time. No, nah, I had plenty of time. I, okay, the reason I stopped was. Okay, there's a lot of people that do music reviews, but nobody ever gives nothing away. I was the only nigga in history to actually give music videos with your review. Mm. After a while, I can't keep doing that because I can't. I'm first of all, I'm going into the film world, and I don't want to do low budget music videos no more. And if your music video is free, it's gonna be low budget. So mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm still doing music reviews now, but, but now I don't, I don't give it. a prize anymore. Okay. 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 If if you missed, I, I did it for damn near two years. If you missed out on that, I don't know what to tell you, nigga. You should should have caught on I early. Called you. And, then when I called you, did, did I? I called you. Remember I called y'all standing in my front yard. I think I called you and asked you about that little boy getting on your reviews. Who? It was a one yeah, kid. Yeah. It was a kid. What's Our his name? neighbor. Um, I don't, I don't know his oh, name. They, I don't think they ever I think said they did. Name. They did. Did they? they? Did. Yeah, they did. They did. Because I remember them telling me they did, and they wouldn't lie to me. So They did. Because his you. mama was in the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was a they prom did. thing. They did. Was yeah, that yeah. the prom, yeah. I'm the prom glad, video? I'm glad. I'm just trying to connect you, yeah, you know? They did. And, you know, if you ever talk to Half Pint on film, he really act like he don't really want to talk to you a lot of times. So, Hey, look. Hey, look. Hold on. He was like, okay. Let me say this. You had to answer the phone. Person. No, yeah. one of us. I, I do not answer my phone. I call it every time heartbeat. this nigga call me. I answer and have a, at least a thirty minute conversation. I'm gonna make him me. talk every time. But I tell him. I tell him. I say sometimes he's talking to half pine and he be the way how he be talking back to you she is like tell me that. he, he don't, don't want to talk to you with you. I say I, 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 I hate being on the phone. I'm gonna talk to you every time though. I promise See, you. See, that's no. the thing because he got his people where he ain't. He's not gonna answer the phone. It's not no hard feelings, but he ain't gonna answer the phone. But not some people he like. All right, shit. Let me answer the phone. But he gonna be huffing and puffing the whole time. Oh, hurry yeah, up. Yeah, that's him. That's him. And I do it because I know that. I said that nigga ain't gonna. No, nah, I'm gonna break this. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and why you cut your locks off? Man, that shit was too much. Heavy as hell, wasn't it? It get heavy. Yeah. Every, and then it got so long to the point where every time I take a shower, I can't take a shower without my hair getting wet because I got to wash my back. Yeah. So shower cap. all this You hair, put it up? I ain't in got the time to do all I, that. Man. How much better do it feel now that you don't have it? Man, I can... Slap me in my face. I would never have dreads again. Top three uh -uh. movies of all time. Between both of y'all, y'all pick together. Number one. Ooh. Top three? Top well, three. well, I ain't gonna lie. Our top three is gonna be completely different. So, different. Okay, I'm gonna top do three one. for okay. you and top three for That's you. That's fine. Okay, go ahead. They you still go gonna be <laughs> how to be a player. We yes, are. Right. Number, number one. That's my number one. Number two. Um, number two, I'm gonna say Poetic Justice. Okay. okay. Love Poetic Justice. I was Justice. looking for that last night. Okay, number three. And number three. This is so hard. I'm gonna have to go with Friday. Already. Okay. Friday. Part no. one, the first one. I like the first one. I like all of them, but the I'm like I'm a, an original type lover. I like okay. the first everything. Mm -hmm. and okay, you? so my list, my first one is next Friday. Mm -hmm. I Already love next Friday. Me too. Next Friday is that one. Friday after next. No, next Friday. The first one you with, 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 with Mike the Mexican Jackson. boy with the thing yes. on his eyes. That whole is hilarious. <laughs> man, you know, man. That's Ricky, the Ricky one. Ricky smiling, killing that old. Yeah, Ricky smiling, Ricky smiling, smiling killing that old man. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. See, my, my three favorite movies are in completely different categories. All okay. three of them. Go ahead. So I got Next, next Friday. Friday. Number two. My second favorite movie is a Marvel movie, which okay. is Deadpool. Okay. You Deadpool. like Deadpool? I love really? Deadpool. That that go hard. Was okay. He loved it. That was like the it's hardest silly. action Dead superhero poo. movie I've ever seen it's in my life. Action, but it has that comedy. It I, has the the dry white a, people humor. That I like is so that. funny. Yeah, I don't know. I mix love of it. it. White like, people humor is so it's funny. Like I love comedy, but it has me. to be a certain kind uh -huh. of comedy. Meet the Falkers around this. So like funny. That love of it. Which takes me to my third one. My third one is Adam Sandler's Click. Yeah, that's my. I love it. 
man. That's my movie, bro. Check it, man. Y'all know what that mean. <laughs> when I say that, it's it's over. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's been another great segment of thank y'all so much. We love y'all. Of course. Keep too, God man. first in your life. In, in, your, in your relationship. relationship for mm -hmm. real. It's been another great segment. See, I got a hard <laughs> one. Right to the camera, that nigga getting Boss good. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. That came from Lil Runny. And we out. There it is. <laughs>